this is William here. Today we're going to talk about how to be unique. So put the I in unique. Dozens of niches provide how-to instructional articles. Why? They're easy to write and they target most audiences' sweet spots. Informative content that helps them achieve what they want, whether it's an emergency or to achieve a goal. Due to the popularity of this type of content, it's easy to let your quality slip. When when was the last time you took a step back and really looked deep into the instructional content you're writing? Look closely. Do your instructional articles offer detailed original tips, insights, case studies, or analysis? Or do your article submissions beat around the bush by providing regurgitated or vague content in order to build backlinks? If it's the latter or you're unsure, then rein it in. And use these tips to write productive instructional articles that benefit readers and your exposure. So provide quality content. If your intention is to provide readers with helpful quality and detailed information that provides them with solutions to their needs and wants, then you're on the right path. Don't stray from this path by regurgitating existing content on the internet or stating the obvious, e.g. you find a great XYZ by searching online. In writing, quality is as much more important than quantity. And then explain in detail. Organize your thoughts into well-designed, detailed articles. Bear in mind, readers will mainly want the need to know details relevant to achieving their needs or wants. Avoid complex industry jargon to ensure you'll benefit your most basic readers. Include specific steps, guidelines, precautions, and your best tips to ensure you asserted your authority and your unique content is clear. Then instruct patiently. Guide your readers through each corresponding step so they may follow along without having to revert back to a previous step or click away for more information. First, outline the fundamental steps in a sequential order and then provide helpful hints or best practices to your audience. Include an exercise. Get your readers involved by providing an exercise for them to do on their own. This can be a problem to solve, a fun activity, a survey, or steps to follow to achieve a desired end result. Whatever you do, light the way for them with clear directions. That's format and language so they don't get through your article and have no direction on where to start. Then restrain yourself. Limit the amount of ideas or concepts in your articles by focusing on one or two main points. It's tough, but it requires you to drill down to a topic to consider all of the intricate details that make it work. So this allows you to separate ideas in the series of articles without overloading the reader of multiple concepts in one article. Aim for one detailed idea per article. Then share experience. Don't hesitate to use your own experience when describing an instructional process. Think about the best way you would follow through with your plan and be precise in your directions. You can separate your ideas from the standard industry ideas if you wish so you, your unique content makes an impact. And then follow up on your website. Your instruction article should stand on its own. However, you can entice a reader to visit your website for even more in-depth information in the form of images, diagrams, videos. And then the key is to deliver in the article and then over-deliver on your website to provide a great user experience. And then include references. Your content needs to be unique in the star of the article, but you're certainly entitled to include helpful references that pave the way for your strategies. The instructions you give can be your own spin on a basic principle, and having that backup to reference will give your readers some assurance of your credibility. Then in summary, an instructional article's primary purpose is to educate readers in a short, concise document that conveys useful information to support concepts and procedures. A common misconception of instructional articles is that they should be written solely using technical language. While acceptable, cut and dry technical writing can be incredibly boring for both the reader and the author. So use these tips to deliver instru unique instructional content that's engaging and never leaves your audience hanging. And this is William. That concludes the presentation on Be Unique. In the meantime, take a look at my blog site, wbweeksjr.com.